hello from Waynesboro, Virginia. Uh, we um, fully expected to stay on the road a little longer. We were looking for a place to uh, stay for the night and um, we ended up here for a while. This is what happened. I wish I had video of it, but I was too busy just trying to get things squared away because I didn't know where we were gonna be. Um, we pulled off the road um, into a, uh, a road that went up to, to a motel, but there was a dirt area, a big dirt area off of Route 81. And we looked at the, uh, the phone and, and did some, a little bit of research. And, you know, we were trying to find campsites, but there wasn't much going on. So we figured, well, you know, we can do a night in a motel. We can just continue on to Dollywood from there. Of course, if you follow my last video, we came from Hershey Park. So we're about uh, almost halfway between Hershey Park and Dollywood, which is total about a, uh, what's about an eight hour drive, right? Yeah, something yeah. like that, so, yes. So all, maybe 40% there. So we stopped and we decided what we're gonna do, and then I went to turn the key and nothing happened. All the lights were on, everything was fine, so the battery was good. The truck said check charging system. So we stayed there and let it cool down, tried a few times, et cetera, et cetera. Nothing happened. So I called the Ford garage, the closest one, which is six miles away. And they said, well, I don't know, you know, and all this stuff. And they said, we'll call you back, which they did. And so I called again and they said, I'll transfer you. And they transferred me to service and it never went. No one ever picked up. So I called back again and they said, I'll give him your number. And I'll have him call you within five minutes. Well, about 15 minutes goes by and nothing. So I get online and look, and there's another Ford dealership 13 miles away. And I called them, and I actually told them I was, you know, I was trying to get the closer one. They said, you don't want to deal with them. So there's obviously some rivalry going on there, probably for good reason. And um, they said, they listened to the situation. They had me try a couple things, no good. I suspected it was the starter. Battery or alternator goes, usually you have no lights and, and, and you know, no power, no power. No power at all. <laughs> yeah, but we did, we had power. So um, they said, we'll be right there. 20 minutes later, uh, one of their tow guys, not from their garage, but a guy that they hire all the time, came with a, a, a tow truck to lift us, our truck onto there. And I thought, gee, I'm gonna have to put the, uh, the safety boot on the tire and leave it here on this, dirty area off the turnpike. I didn't want to do that, but, you yeah, know, what are you going to do? About the trailer. And, huh? We're talking about the trailer. Talking about the trip. Is that what, did I mention that? No. No, what did I say? <laughs> you just, you, oh, you just went oh, on the oh, boot. No, oh, the boot. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, the trailer. So, uh, the guy who had the tow truck says, no, he put the truck up on the, uh, on the tow truck and then he extends this little thing out and then there's a two inch, uh, ball hitch. So he hooked the trailer up. So he, he, he carried the truck and towed our trailer. So it's sitting in the back parking lot um, of the Ford dealership, which that's good. I still put the boot on it though. And uh, I feel much better about that. And yes. um, we went um, into the, uh, the garage and uh, they, they, they had a, um, a shuttle driver for us to bring us to a motel. I'd done a little bit of research and the Quality Inn seemed to have decent ratings. There's a few of them in the area that didn't. I mean, people were talking about bed bugs and water damage and all kinds of stuff. Um, short, you know, long story short, having to do with that, we lucked out. Yes, this is, we did. You know, we're lucky to be here because we're going to uh, have to be here for a few days now. Yes. Anyway, Friday, and the truck would have to have a problem on Friday afternoon when they can't really do anything and they'll be closing in a couple of hours and um monday is when the work people at the garage will be back and we did we've been here for you know for a few hours now and the dealership just called me back and he said we got to start it we, we we just we checked it out it is the starter we're going to get one for you on Monday morning. We're going to expedite. Uh, we're going to put you in front of our, our other work that we have. We're going to expedite it. 
and we'll come and get you before the 11 o'clock checkout so you don't have to pay for another day. And uh, we'll either have it done or you can sit here a while until it's finished. And I was just, uh, we were just happy with that. Yes, but, very pleased. Yeah, it's Friday. We're going to be here Saturday. Saturday. We're going to be here Sunday. Sunday. Um, and it looks like, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, Joyce. Yes. Oh, the other one, too? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be out of here hopefully uh, uh, Monday sometime Monday. during the day, probably the morning. Yep. Yeah. And uh, the motel. The, yes, the motel is really nice. It, 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 and, uh, gee, we thought it, it, we lucked out on it, like Dan said. It, it's, it's really nice. Nice big bed television um the bathroom is nice and uh it's clean it's clean the whole place is it, clean. It, it clean yeah yeah so i i'm glad we had we were here we're yeah. here yeah and and the price well it's a it's weekend pretty... price it was 91 dollars a night and we're here for three nights so it came to about 270. Mm -hmm. um so you know it's a weekend price i think it was like 69 or 79 i think yes. during the week we have mm -hmm. to do it on the weekend what you're going to do mm -hmm. it's still not horrible um heck 270 for three days in a motel and 150 for a tow so yeah 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 <laughs> which is you know when i paid the guy and i i gave him a tip he was a nice guy he came yeah. to get us really quick mm -hmm. and uh so that you know that that that, that was that was pretty good um so we're very thankful that we just hit people who were just on it, oh, unlike that previous garage. Mm. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a bad situation, but it's as good as a bad situation can get. Yes. Yeah. The way we look at it, we have a philosophy we've had for a long time. Yeah. And we've always, we've talked, we've always told the kids this. Um, there are emergencies in life. And there are just some of them are inconveniences and annoyances. This and was annoying. <laughs> annoying. A lot of people consider almost anything an emergency, but until you have one where someone is sick or has had a bad accident or, uh, you know, a worse, yes. um, then you put it in perspective. And this is just like an annoyance. And then, you know, it, this is the vacation part of the vacation we didn't count on, but we're still vacationing. Yes, yes, <laughs> we're, we're very lucky. Yeah, uh, and uh, up behind the motel, there's like a five minute walk to the downtown area, and yeah. there's supposed to be some nice little restaurants and stuff yes. down there. So, yes, yeah, so and tomorrow oh, morning oh. they have you know, I looked in there when we checked in, and they've got a uh, you know, the usual so, in you know, inexpensive so. motel breakfast you, know, you can make your own waffles. waffles they'll probably have eggs and toast and Egg. cereal and, yes. and juice and coffee and stuff so we're expecting that yes. uh, in the morning and, and and that's good and uh they have yogurt so i'll probably bring one back with me to the motel for lunch oh yes <laughs> do they do have a little it. fridge in here yeah yeah right now the we don't have the tripod so the phone is sitting on top of the motel ironing board which is about <laughs> halfway up uh, propped up against the ice bucket <laughs> yeah. to to uh, video this. Yes. So we will uh, keep you informed. It's going to be a little a little bit of motel life in this video, ah. um, and then hopefully a little bit of yes. the video will be us like taking off and getting to where we're going. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So. So. Ready to veg out with me for a couple days, girl? Yes. Love you too. Well, here we are. Yeah. We're back again. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is day two. two. I think we recorded on yeah we recorded on, on Friday, Friday when we got here. Uh, so today is uh, mid morning, Sunday, um, and hopefully we're taking off no. tomorrow. No. What? Saturday. No. Friday. We, we got here Friday. Today's yes. Sunday. <laughs> it's Saturday. We had Saturday and Sunday. We got here Friday, yeah. so we, <laughs> we, this is Saturday, 
and remember we had takeout on Friday night yes we and did. then Saturday we went to the green room so today is yes but you, oh you wanted to today's Sunday yes but yeah. but didn't you wanna you said two there was two days three days we three days in the month we just <laughs> three days in a month. <laughs> kind of kind of about thirty days in a month. Yes. We're recording when we got here and we're recording like the last day on Sunday. Oh. Okay. We didn't record on Saturday. Okay. So today is today Sunday? Yes, today okay. is Sunday. Good. <laughs> <laughs> What the heck? What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> what was that all about? Uh, uh, okay. okay, very good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we start over. <laughs> yeah, no, this is fun. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep a lot of this, maybe. So, today is Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> and uh, and we, we've had a good stay. It's been very, very laid back. Um, <laughs> we There's not too much to tell. We've been kind of just hanging around yes um and uh the weather's <laughs> gone from 90 degrees to about 60. yes it was cool today cool today and, mm -hmm. and a cloudy mm -hmm. we've had dry hot weather for days and now we have several days or a week set up of cool damper weather i don't yes. know if it's going to rain or not because they're they're in a drought here but it gets cloudy a little bit and sprinkles once yeah. in a while but that's about it mm-hmm you know, they've been trying to come in and make up the room and everything, and I've been giving them our trash bags and stuff, and I say, we're good. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The camera's still set up on an ironing board, by the way, <laughs> like it was the first time, with the, with the ice bucket holding, mm -hmm. propping it up. Um, anyway, we went to, uh, you can see we went to breakfast this, this morning. morning. Joyce is still, we brought back extra coffees. I, I, it's very good coffee. The coffee was good. Yeah. And uh, we had, well, what did we have for breakfast? What did you have? We had about the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah. We had eggs and toast, and um, we did did get some uh, biscuits and <laughs> a little, with some Every, juice. <laughs> everything's small. Everything, it, like the biscuits are about about is, half dollar size. So yeah, we yeah. just had a bunch of little stuff on our plate. Yeah, and. Um, we had a yogurt. Oh. Yogurt, yogurt, yes. Ooh, yes. We brought some back and put them in the refrigerator. Yeah. For lunch. For lunch is, <laughs> is really good. <laughs> a really good uh, yogurt. Yogurt. Um, but your typical, um, you know, chain motel type thing. We could have made waffles, but we we didn't feel we didn't feel yeah, like it. Yeah. A lot of people. A nice lobby, very yes, clean. Yes. They kept uh, refreshing the breakfast thing over yes. and over again. Yes. And we especially the eggs. Yeah. They kept yeah. Putting eggs in there. Yeah. For the for um, the second um, morning, we've uh, um, talked with with a, a, another couple who was here mm -hmm. for a wedding and an, an older couple and like like us. Yes. Um, probably yes. a little bit older, maybe. I think he mm. was because he, yeah. he we were talking about he fought in the Vietnam War. Yes, he did. So you know, probably two or three or four years older than me. Yeah. He, he uh, you know, we had some nice comments. Talked about family. Talked about traveling and and different things. And we, we lingered a long time with them. Uh, yes. They like to nice. talk. Yeah. Yes. Especially, and, especially uh, you and and him. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, I like to talk too. Yes. You, you wouldn't think that, would you? Um, <laughs> Um, but uh, that that was kind of nice, and, and they they left. When we left them. They said that that basically it was you know uh, yeah. it made their stay here bearable. Us being able to talk to, them, <laughs> which I thought was like okay, <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and um, oh, they were going back to Washington, Washington D.C. Yeah, yeah, that's where they lived, right? Yeah, in that area. In that area, yeah. 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 So. Yeah. So, and uh, oh, um, last night we went to the five-minute walk, which was a nice little yeah. walk down Main Street. 
Yes. And uh, we went to the Green Leaf Grill, right? Yeah. Yes. It's a pub that was recommended by the uh, the staff here. Very nice staff, by the way. I digress. Very nice staff. Very helpful. Polite. Yes. I ask too many questions, and they just keep answering me with a smile on their face. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they've been very overall. This motel's been great. Um, Quality Inn in Waynesboro, Virginia. If you're ever here, it's good. Um, and uh, we went to the Greenleaf Grill. It's a, a, a really kind of upscale, nice pub. Yes. Yeah. They had some uh, blues music in the background, so it was kind of kind of nice. Kinda, you know, typical pub. And pub food is often yeah. very good. I had a burger. I had a Philly cheese steak. Yep. Yeah. And, and uh, some fries. The fries know. were excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, homemade and, fries. And some water. So. Yeah, we had water. Yeah, we we don't usually do that. It usually like adds thirty percent to your restaurant bill. You know, it, it I'd can. rather leave that as a gratuity instead, yes. which is which is what I usually, what we usually do. So here we are with the Green Leaf Grill. Yes. And it was recommended by the lady at the counter at the motel. And it's a very pub-like atmosphere. It's really nice. Um, the prices are reasonable. You know, salads, uh, different types of sandwiches, and a few entrees, too. Uh, it was interesting that their, their fried seafood uh, sample or platters, fried catfish, fried oysters, and shrimp, fried shrimp. Which, if you're from Maine, that's like, uh, <laughs> and and not not real, you know. It needs to be shrimp, scallops, whole belly clams, and haddock. There, there's no substitutes. But you know, they don't have our seafood up here. So this is our first full day in the motel. Yeah. And. Saturday. Wait, waiting for the pickup truck to get fixed, which will be fixed on Monday. Today's, so like Joey said, is Saturday. So we're we're hoping it, it's going to be a straightforward fix. It is a starter. Yes. So they put them in, they take them out, put them in. So okay. It's not even a big job for what we're going to be paying for it. <laughs> but it's at the Ford garage. All my work is done. Yet. So you ordered. What did you order, Joyce? Uh, I ordered. Uh, Philly cheese steaks. Yeah, fries? Yeah, with fries. And I ordered the uh, Black Angus burger. It's got lettuce and tomatoes and cheese and mustard and ketchup and whatever on it. Um, I always love a good burger, and this one's kind of a big one, I think, but um, I'll manage. Mm, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Another full day tomorrow in the motel, and uh, then we, uh, the next morning, hopefully, They'll come and get us and we'll take off. Yes. Yes. And we'll have our trip. <laughs> yeah. And the cheese We usually do. Mm -hmm. um, so we did that. We walked back and uh, they got a great, good sized Samsung TV here. Yeah. Um, with, with a lot of decent channels and it works. <laughs> if you're in a hotel sometimes they just don't work yeah. um, we had interesting I've never seen this before they've got a regular maintenance guy you see him around all the time and our toilet seat fell off uh, you know which was that <laughs> that was a shock um, so I went to the uh, to the desk and I said our, you know our toilet seat like won't stay on and 20 minutes later there was mm -hmm. someone knocking on the door came in tried to fix it took a couple measurements obviously went out to like a hardware store or something and uh within an hour yeah um yeah they would come in and they just mm -hmm. take care of stuff immediately which is probably why the rooms are all like working well whenever something goes wrong they don't like let it build up until they have to shut the room down uh, mm -hmm. they, they just fix things as they go along and they have yeah. a regular maintenance guy who does it uh, yeah. with a smile on his face it was great yeah um, so, tomorrow morning, yep, tomorrow morning, the truck goes back, and then we, yep. we go and hook up the camper, and we need to figure out tonight exactly where we're going to try to go tomorrow. 
Yes, that's true. And it will determine if we get it back at 10 o'clock or 2 o'clock. Yes. You know, because that would be take traveling time out. So it might be a little difficult trying to decide tonight. But, yeah. But, you know, we've got our, our iPad and our computer, and we've mm. got very good 5G connectivity through. They, they have a, a 5G a wireless system here. Oh, and it's been great. Good. Yeah. yeah, it's been great um, as far as their internet is concerned. Um, so, overall, good. Yep. Yeah. All set? Yes, I'm all set. I think that's this is the last yes. couch one we'll do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being patient, Father. Yeah. <laughs> we finally got the truck back. I won't even tell you about the cost, but you can imagine. The towing charge, though, was like obscene. Yeah. But anyway, uh, we're on the road. We're coming up on our first stop for the evening in a couple hours, maybe an hour. Yeah. And then tomorrow will be a couple hours to a Pigeon Forge. We've got a three three night stay in a campground. We lucked out. It's a nice place. Gets good ratings. And in Pigeon Forge area, three miles from Dollywood, fifty six bucks. Which all the others around there are like one hundred and fifty. So uh, it's great. Um, and we're all booked for it. Right now we're at the Subways at a Love's Truck Stop. We have some spicy Italian. Mm -hmm. Take it away, Joyce, with your mouth full. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How you doing, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll stop this night. We stopped to the nut for the night. Yes. And probably the second best thing that I could think of you know, it's nice when you can find a nice state park or, you know, we don't care much for public, uh, private campgrounds, but, yeah. uh, but we, we couldn't find any. Yeah, uh, There really weren't true. many on our route and a couple that were were full. So when that happens, you start boondocking. Now, out west boondocking, you know, if you've seen any of our videos there, uh, you know, we're in the desert, or in the mountains, or on the edges of cliffs, or at the top of the edge of the Grand Canyon. Uh, yeah. You know, places like that, or any place on the road you want to stop, just drive off the road almost. Yeah. Tons of that. Boondocking is slim pickings in the east. I mean, almost non-existent. But uh. the, this is one of, our, of the better available boondocking sites in the east. Let me show you the view out our back door. Yep, a little close to the highway. Now, I'm going to take them to show them the view we have out here. Okay. Okay? Okay. And here we are. Yep. Cracker Barrel. But this is some of the best boondocking in the East. But hey, when you do this, you got to expect that stuff. And uh, the expense, be damned. No, actually, not really. But <laughs> it happens, is Forrest Gump. Yeah. <laughs> Coined. Yeah. Um, so we just roll with it. So, Joyce. Yes, hi. Ready maybe to go into Cracker Barrel a little later and have I'm some good. coffee, maybe a little dessert or yeah. a muffin or something? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Later. It's a little noisy in here. There's a, a baseball team made up of about 30 eighth grader, or eight year olds. And uh, there must be a lot of kids in the outfield or a lot of them on the bench because they're a large crowd. So I'm used to taking uh, school kids on field trips in the past. And it's always noisy. I don't need it now though. So we have